Hello, welcome back to the bonus episodes of my blind let's play of Dark Souls 3. Uh, somebody dropped a comment yesterday. My buddy Nefarious, who keeps commenting on my videos, go check out his channel where he beats uh, from software bosses. But uh, yeah, he let me know that I missed this fucking area after I finished the game, beat Madeir, did all that, and dropped my review. So I had to come back and finish this area. It's been a cool area. I've actually really enjoyed this area. But uh, there's just one last thing I have to do. Now that I'm all suited up, I'm at, what, level 119, 118? I'm dressed like the Nameless King now. Got my uh, setup all, all ready to go to go fight this goddamn boss. And I'm assuming this is the boss room right here. I am assuming that. So I think this is the smoldering demon, according to the boss list that I read. Or is this just another area? Oh, this has got. This looks like a boss arena. Yeah. So it's just a harder version of one of these motherfuckers. Old Demon King. Oh! No, this is the Smoldering Lake? But this is the Old Demon King. Not the Smoldering King. Ow! Son of a bitch. Missed the guy. Ah! Damn! Oh fuck. Man, I keep missing this fucking prick. What the hell is going on? I keep getting unlocked. My fucking attacks aren't coming out when I think they do. I can't fucking see. Holy crapes. <laughs> crapes. <laughs> I think that was a cross between crap and Christ. Holy shit, that's got a lot of range on it. Dude, every fucking roll I do, I get unlocked from this fucking guy. That is so dumb. Oh god, it's like the meteor attack! Run! Uh-oh. God, this guy's just hard to fucking hit. Is that it? Oh, soul of the old demon king. Watch this give me some crazy awesome spear. Bonfire, let's light it up. Is this it? Am I done this game now? Other than the boss that I missed in uh, the Painted World, that maybe somebody will drop a comment and let me know how to find that, and then I could do another bonus episode. Maybe we could end on an even number like 150 if it only takes me one episode to go fight and destroy that boss. Then again, if it's in the Painted World, it could still be really hard for me, even at level 118. Alright, well let's, uh, let's just head back. Four minutes into this episode! <laughs> Fucking right! Ah, oh, man, that feels so good that I was able to one-shot that boss! Oh. Let's see. Yeah, this ain't my favorite looking armor. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I think I like the Ring, di Ring Knight stuff best, or also the, the Silver Knight stuff is pretty damn good, too. See what I get. Okay. Chaos Bed Vestiges. That's kind of a cool name for a spell. Traces of the tumultuous seed bed that birthed the beings known as demons. Oh, so this is where the demons are birthed. I'm sure there was more that I could have learned about this that I didn't in the first Dark Souls down in 
Lost Isolith, all that shit. Hurls Chaos Flames that Scorches Vicinity. Is that the attack that he used on me, where all the meteors came down? Demons born from fire bore its smoldering essence and perished soon after. Man shares this rapport with the flames to this day. We burn too brightly and then we fade away. Let's see it. Hey, okay, Old King's Great Hammer. This weapon has survived since Old Isolith and is imbued with remnants of the Chaos Flame. Molten Perseverance, anchor weapon in Earth to temporarily boost poise and use strong attack to repeatedly stab Earth to trigger molten explosions. It's kind of cool. Uh, might as well grab that. Cool. Well, that's it. That's it. Okay, let me let me get some better uh, armor on. Let's go back to this one. God, I almost like this shield even better than this one. I mean, this one looks cooler and it heals you, but damn, increased souls. That's just so fucking handy. That would have been good for me to have throughout the game, but oh well. Whatever, put this one on. Let's see if I can wear the whole Silver Knight set. I don't think I even have the whole Black Knight set. No, I don't. Silver Knight. Still might be too heavy for me to wear. Sadly. Oh, just too heavy. Just, just, just. Even with this on. So, you know what? Just for the sake of it, we'll just put on Havel's ring. Whatever the hell that thing is. Hello? Hello? Where are you, Havel's ring? I have you. There we go. wonder if I can... Yeah, we're still good even without that. So let's put on... I guess I need items more than souls. Not that it matters, since I'm uh, since I'm done playing now. Unless somebody lets me know how I ought to go about finding that wolf boss in the painted world, I think I've I think I've beaten all the bosses now. I think I've done everything that I need to do in this game. Yeah, this looks pretty badass. Am I not embered up? Look at all my fucking health. That is an enormous health pool. I wish you could see... Oh, I, do, I can see my number of health. 1576. Yeah, that's sick. Um, Not even enough fucking souls for a level up. Wow. Um, I am embered up. You just can't see it. Oh, you can just barely see it. I guess. This is a pretty sick armor set. I don't know if I like this better than... Uh, than the ringed knight set. I mean, they're both pretty fucking awesome. Anyway, that's, uh... That is it for this run. This bonus episode, uh... You know, hate to leave you with a short one here, but I hear short videos do better on YouTube anyway, so that's pretty good. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought. If there's some other part of this game that I missed out on that you really think I ought to go, uh... Take on... Whoopsies. Then, uh, let me know about that. I will... Uh, definitely give it a shot if it's something interesting and uh, fuck that's it check out my uh, Dark Souls 3 review uh, and uh, check out my entire run here it's a all in one big playlist my review is in its own playlist because that uh, took me to um, two episodes to do the review and then check out my Final Fantasy 7 Let's Play that I'm in the middle of right now. It's not a blind Let's Play. Uh, I've beaten that game several times before, but you catch new details every time, so there will be spoilers throughout the Let's Play. Because I'm analyzing it from the point of view of two perspectives. A green player who's never played it before, as well as uh, someone who has played it and who's potentially going to notice, like, foreshadowing for future events. I want to... I want to see, like, what did they foreshadow that maybe I didn't notice the first time. Let's just go to some really cool-looking area, like... Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. This area is just fucking insanely good-looking. We'll warp to this one. And that's it! 
yeah um fuck quite enjoyed this game in spite of uh some bosses in a few certain areas really driving me fucking up the wall causing me all kinds of rage hopefully you're able to find some entertainment value in that and perhaps uh i will spur on some new and unique thoughts in you with my unique thoughts on this game and my unique criticisms that looks so fucking good god this game looks good i mean i just can't uh, i can't lie it just looks so damn good there's that little foggy uh barrier Man, those pine forests up there look pretty sick, too. There should have been an area in the game where you're running around in snowy pine forests. Oh, I guess there is. The painted fucking world. Fuck that place. Man, look at that. Is that, uh... What is that up there? Is that in Orlando? Is that Lothric? There's it in Orlando somewhere up here, and then that's... Lothric Castle. I thought Andrew Londo was kind of up over here. Maybe that's Lothric Castle. Regardless, good game. All right, I'm rambling enough. Thanks for watching. Hope your day is going well. Hope your life is going well. And peace the fuck out.